Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen. I'm a Taurus Sun and Venus, and we're going to get our daily message here. Before we do, just a quick reminder, we're getting to the end of the month here, so the Superconscious Reiki sessions are half off until the end of October. We only have a few days left, so book yours before the special is over. There will be a little lotus flower here at the end of this reading. You can click on that to take you to the booking site, or you can go in the description box below, and it also has the link there. Remember, when you get there, hit book now, and then make sure that you scroll, because I offer many different readings and Reiki sessions. I have four different types of Reiki, and you're looking for the super conscious Reiki session. So with that being said, let's jump right into this reading and see what's going on. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy, please? What is the overall energy? Show us clearly. What is the overall energy? Show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy? Divine Source Creator. Ooh, all right. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we have Hex here with... Be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves. So a lot of you are going through this right now where, I don't want to say enemy per se, but there is things going on in your life, maybe in your job, in your friend circle, could be anywhere in your life where you might be a little frustrated with the situation, uh, people not telling the truth, people getting credit for your work, you know, things like that. And the key is to, again, be silent. Okay, I just did a reading not that long ago regarding that, right? So, uh, what, what I can't remember what we titled it, um, but silence wins. So I feel like as tempting as it could be to speak up in this situation, it's not the time to speak up. It's like you give somebody enough rope, they'll hang themselves, right? But I'm going to tell you, whatever the situation is, it's going to be resolved quickly, Okay, it's going to be resolved very quickly here for you. Whether, like I said, we've all been there in those situations, especially work situations, um, where you're you're just, you know, you're watching the kiss ass to the boss, if you will, and they're, you know, doing everything, or the boss thinks they're doing everything, and really they're doing nothing, right? Whatever this is, in whatever area it is, um, again, it's the quiet and the still and allow them to reveal themselves. Uh, this, this could be as simple as buying a car for some of you, right? If you go buy a car and they tell you, you know, it's XYZ cost and then this and the taxes and this, and you're like, yeah, no, that won't work for me. And then you wait, right? <laughs> and you wait and they'll come back with a different offer. So I do feel like somewhere in here for you guys, it, there's a better offer. A better something better is going to be exposed for you and the reason I say that is the bottom of the deck we've got liberation right freeing yourself from the constraints so again I feel like there's a big moment coming where could be a little shocking you didn't think it would really ever happen like that person gets fired or whatever it might be but it, it allows you to move and allows you to be free. So again, when spirit does that and they basically repeat a message, it's because you're not listening to them. <laughs> so listen to spirit. Spirit is telling you to gain that freedom, to have that liberation. You don't have to do nothing. And I mean nothing. You just sit back and smile and nod, right? You just sit back and let it play out because somebody's going to get their karma here. And it's not our job to deliver karma, right? It's not our job. Karma delivers itself. So something good comes out of it for you. And as positive as I want these messages to be, there are things in life that we deal with that aren't so pleasant, like a coworker taking all the credit, right? After doing nothing. So however that fits in your situation... Show me clearly. It could be in a friend circle. It could be that there's gossiping going on, right? Which I absolutely hate all of that, but it happens. And it's like, just keep your nose clear, right? Just keep your nose clear of what's going on. Oh, I love this. Couldn't ask for a better card here with the meditation card, right? 
um, because that is being quiet. That is letting things play out. That is where you don't have to do anything. And again, I would tell you hugely, uh, this is a side note, if you're not meditating on a regular basis, you need to in whatever form that is. You don't have to think of meditation as just sitting in lotus position, right? Meditation is going for walks. Meditation can be done laying down. There's so many different ways. So again, I feel like that's going to be important for you to keep to yourself. No, even if you know the answers, even if you know, you know, somebody's lying, cheating, stealing, whatever, even if you know your part in this is to keep in your own lane. Okay. Stay in your lane. Keep quiet and let it play out. Ooh, that's too many. And just let it play out. Show me clearly, please. What is the message here for Taurus? Ooh, so many cards. So many cards. Can I just have one or two, please? One or two, please. Look at that. Queen of Wands. Yeah, I love this. So the great thing about the Queen of Wands is she's the most attractive queen in the deck, right? She knows when to take action, but she knows when to let things come to her, right? She's attractive, the most attractive. She's attracting things in. So again, I feel like Spirit is coming through and saying, you just let it come to you. It's going to come to you. Let it come to you. Be confident that it's all going to work out in your favor because it is right with the liberation it's going to work out in your favor here but your job right now is to remain calm remain at peace and be in the knowing that it's going to work out in your favor okay stay in your lane keep your nose clear and watch it play out you're the observer here show me clearly what is the message please for taurus show me clearly for taurus Show me clearly for Taurus. Thank you. <laughs> yep, there we go. I love it. The magician, the witch. Um, I love the I, I love the magician card coming out because a lot of people think in order to be the magician, you have to go 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 go, and it's not. It's a balance, right? It's a balance between the emotions, the uh, inspired action the thoughts about it using the mind right the feelings about it and right now it's like you focus more on one than the other and right now it's the focus of the silence it's the non-action that creates and sometimes we forget that right as manifestors we want to just keep going and doing and doing when sometimes we've done all that right? We've done that and now we just sit and wait. And I feel in this situation, whatever the situation is for you, you've already manifested the outcome that you desire, right? And now you just need to play it out or wait it out. Show me clearly. And with the two major, I kind of hear it's like trust the universe is going <laughs> to expose whatever this is. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? What is the message for Taurus, please? Show me clearly. Yep, Nine of Wands. Look at this Nine of Wands. Okay, obviously there's a war going on here in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's in a relationship, friendship, circle, work, whatever this is for you, it's going to be different for all of you. It's a general reading. But this Nine of Wands is, you know, the... Um, we're going to persevere through this, right? We're going to work our way through this. But did you know she's sitting... She's just sitting there waiting. She's like, I don't have to move forward right now. I'm letting it come to me. So you don't have to do the battle. That's the big message here from Spirit. You don't have to battle this. Okay? You don't. You just sit back and watch everybody else drown themselves, right? Show me clearly. What is the message? What is the message for Taurus, please? There we go. Yeah, I love this. So out of this, um, this, this is a very beautiful outcome. With the Two of Cups, right, that is soulmate energy for me. And there's something very unusual about this Two of Cups. It's got the scales, okay? 
So if you, it's cups energy. So it's like, if you let the emotions take over the best of you, like going in and ratting on somebody, telling on somebody, it does not work in your favor, okay? You have to let karma do its work. And you have to step aside. And the result of that is you get that soulmate energy. So soulmate energy can be you get a lover. Um, if it's, you know, a situation where you're, somebody's after your person or whatever it might be because again it's different for all of you but soulmate energy isn't always romantic it is the job the career the house you know it's the car right so there is a beautiful outcome i will tell you that but the outcome only comes in beautifully if you sit and you be still and you meditate and you it's a, it's a non-action time. That's the only way I can say that. It's a non-action time for you. Show me clearly. Somebody's true colors are going to come out. Show me clearly. What is the message? What is the message? Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus. What is the message, please? Show me clearly. What is the message? Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? Oh, look at that. The universe. We love that. That's the ending, right? And a new beginning. The chapter is about to close. Sorry if that's loud. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. You don't do anything. You stand still, right? The Four of Pentacles is a non-movement card. So you stand still. You stand your ground right? Fours are very stable. I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm not going to get involved in this. I'm going to let it play out the way it needs to play out. I don't have anything to prove here. Karma will come in and take care of it. And then look what happens. You've got the Fool card and, and the Justice card. So I don't know if any of you have ever been in a court situation. Um, no matter what it is, speeding ticket, divorce, I mean, it doesn't even matter. Um, the key in those situations is always to be silent and let the lawyer do the work, right? You stay as silent as possible. You're yes or no answers kind of thing. And then it always works out in your favor, right? So there is a new beginning with this. Justice is here for you. You win by being quiet and still. And then you get to have the fresh start with the fool card. I love it. I love it. You ever notice people who talk too much usually dig themselves in a hole that they can't get out of. Show me clearly. Thank you. Oh, I love that. It says, I am loved beyond measure, and I, I do love this. This is, this is saying to me to trust your spiritual team. Trust the angels, guides, and ancestors. Trust the divine. You are loved beyond measure. Things work out in your favor. As long as you follow the advice from spirit. Beautiful. So with that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment. I read each and every one. Subscribe if you haven't. Book your Reiki session here before the sale ends. And all my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.